I'm very much a big fan of creating hyperdocs in Google Slides and also editing the master in order to make them indestructible. So none of these items are movable. And this is just a quick example of something you could do for music. I have a video and then a, a space for them to be able to put in some notes for music and whatnot. But that's not necessarily what this video is about. What this video is about is actually being able to transfer from one template to another, one slideshow to another. So when I train teachers, I train them to create a bunch of generic templates that they could use and pull in at any time. So I have one of those. I have some hyper slides that I've made and um, some changes happened in Google where it used to be that if you wanted to insert a slide from one to another, you had to go to the insert tab and go down here. Well, that button has changed. And so that's what this video is really about. So I'm going to go instead of to the insert tab, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go down to import slides. So this is where it's located now. And when I do that, I can search any presentations that I have. Here I have a copy of mine. I'm going to go ahead and hit select. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to select what slides you want to use from your template. You got to keep in mind that these slides do need to be in the presentation. They just can't be sitting in the masters or all your layouts. So I'm going to let's do for this one. It might be fun to do a composer Instagram. It might also be a good idea to do a KWL. And then what I want you to know specifically is you need to make sure that this box right here is not checked. This is extremely important or else it'll ruin the theme that you've created. Uh, or any layouts that you've created. So I'm going to hit import. It's going to pull those in. And then what it does is it puts them directly in my slide presentation. So I'm able to move them accordingly. So I might have them do a KWL chart on slide number two, and then have them do like an Instagram profile about a, uh, maybe a composer of some sort that may be kind of fun. And so these are just activities that I was able to pull in straight from a template that I made. Um, and then the nice thing is that if I go to slide and edit master, those are also in this slide deck. I'm able to use them. They're in my layouts for me to pull at any time. So I have my KWL and Instagram chart right there, ready to go. Okay. So that was just a quick update on how to now import slides. It's no longer in insert. It's now over here in file and you import slides from there.